Awesome. All right, so millions of parents have had this happen. It's 9 p.m., time to wind it down. Then little Jimmy remembers there's a school project due tomorrow, and it involves craft items you do not have in the house. Time for a Walmart run. Never let a teacher assignment surprise you again. J.J. Zavala has some tech for teachers, students, and parents to make life a little easier. Hello there. Hello. What's going on, Deborah? All right. Um, you are a youngster, but even yeah. back when you were in school, <laughs> um, your parents couldn't necessarily communicate with your teachers uh, with email so yeah. much anymore. So things have changed. Yeah, things have changed. And, I mean, we have our watches, we have our phones, we have our laptops. So one way that you can obviously communicate with your teacher, which is way easy, is just an email. Yeah. Um, I mean, so it's it's definitely the easiest method. Uh, you don't have to rely on your on your kid or <laughs> you, to deliver you could be a in message. Trouble, right? yeah, they, yeah, they could be hiding something from yeah. you. So um, ask well, your teacher, ask for your email address. It's usually on their school website. Yeah, and a lot of them have their Facebook pages as well that has all their assignments posted on there, so you, there are no surprises. Yep. Also, uh, I remember my uh, my sister used to like fake her. I'm sick, <laughs> right? You can Who check. Yeah, that, right, right. Well, you honest. can check attendance now online in you real can. time. You can. You, I would ask uh, your students, uh, your kids' teacher, to see what apps that the district or the teacher might use to see, you know, if they actually are attending class. There mm -hmm. are apps like uh, Creatrix, um, which show attendance in real time. Also, another program called uh, MyAt, which is a really easy to use interface. Um, some attendance trackers, uh, attendance trackers, uh -huh. even export custom lists ah. uh, for each class. Yeah. So. So again, just check with, check in with your teacher or your school district. That way, you can really see if you're. You know what's happening before the truancy officer shows up, right? right? Exactly. Okay. Also, I I have a certain sibling who used to intercept <laughs> report cards in the mail. Can't do that anymore. Yeah, you can't because a lot of report cards now are digital. There's services like Blackboard and Canvas. See, I didn't even have this uh, in elementary school, grade school, mm -hmm. uh, but I had services like this in college. Now, you know, they have those services. Parents know what your grades exactly. are, right? Exactly. So yeah. you can you literally just click, see what class you're taking and get the grade instantaneously. Yeah, and the good thing is you can check like before the report card necessarily comes out so you can see what you might need to do to change to help boost the child's grade. Right, right. All right. Uh, security systems. Are you doing your homework, son? Yes, mom. <laughs> In fact, I finished it. Really? Show, it, show me to, on the camera. Show me that you finished your homework, right? So uh, security systems, you can tell when your child's coming home. Yeah, this, and, and, these, and some of our homes nowadays, a lot of us might have security cameras uh, mm -hmm. that are through your Wi-Fi. Um, you can easily just use those, not necessarily just for the home, but even just to look at your kid, making sure they're doing their homework. Yeah. Reposition like a camera in the living room to where the desk is or something. And even like, I mean, I grew up in a generation of latchkey children. There are still latchkey children, but this way you can feel like you're a little bit more uh, at home Most when you definitely. can communicate that way. All right, uh, okay, this kid who hacked into Apple. Okay, so I don't know if you want to call this a good student or a bad student. <laughs> to me, possibly a good a smart student. smart one. Yeah, smart one for sure. So there's this teenager in Australia um, who hacked into Apple's infrastructure downloaded 90 gigs of user data. Um, so Apple notified the FBI, the FBI got in contact with the Australian police, and uh, he pled guilty, but uh, the reason why he hacked into Apple servers was because he's a huge Apple fan. He wants to work for Apple, mm. eventually be an employee. So to me, I mean, especially when you have a folder that says, hacky hack hack to yeah. hack into the system i mean come on that's that's got to be some sort of a smart kid so hopefully yeah, let's try apple to, if you're yeah. listening you need to give this guy a job let's try to guide him into some uh, more positive things to do <laughs> okay uh, kroger has self-driving delivery yeah so everyone is getting into uh, uh, autonomous cars self-driving cars well kroger is now getting into that business as well there's one store in arizona that just opened up and um you'll They'll be delivering the groceries for you with um, six. It's six dollars within the same day, uh -huh. and you have to be in the same zip code. So hopefully, in the future, we'll all be having self-driving cars yeah. to bring us okay. our groceries. All right, Blackbird app. Last thing. Uh, last thing. All right. So Blackbird. Everyone uses Uber now, mm -hmm. Lyft. Imagine having an Uber, but it's a helicopter. Um, nice. You can go places, right? No traffic issues there, yeah, right? I know they have services like this in New York, but this one seems pretty much for everyone. Uh, it's ideal for short trips, day trips, and it uses 1,200 uh, regional airports and um, 400 major airports. Hmm. So they even have a charter service, a little, little more luxurious. Yeah. But if you're just trying to, if you just want to go to LA for the day, hopefully we can use Blackbird. All right, JJ, thank you very much. Of course, and thank to you. find out more about what you've seen on today's Tech Corner, you can log on to greatdayhouston.com and we will connect you. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>